I may put a thermostat or something on here mm -hmm. uh, where it only comes on if the motor if gets to a certain temperature. Uh, or I may just rig it up to the 12 volt, um, you know, uh, switched 12 volts. And anytime just you turn it on, comes the thing, on have with the ignition. Blow. It's pretty quiet, does make a little noise, but it'll blow air up through that motor and out there, and that'll get rid of some heat. And that's, uh, that's what we got going. The uh, rest of it, I said we were going to have to uh, do a uh, magnetic pickup for this thing. Let's use my famous redwood sticks to isolate this. This is a uh, West Tac, by the way. Yeah, the same one we used uh, in the... Uh, this is an automotive tachometer pickup. It's a magnetic pickup and it's threaded about an inch long. We've cut a hole in a piece of 6061 aluminum and another <laughs> hole here. Uh, our, our famous 0.09, if well, we ever run out of 0.090 6061, we're we, done. We, we won't be able to make anything. That, that's the <laughs> end of it. By the way, you get plates of that on eBay. Uh, it's yep. called online metals or something. They're here in Missouri. I think that's it, they're here in Missouri, and, yeah. Uh, they, they'll have them to you in a couple of days, but a great place for just sheets and uh, so forth. This is a West Tac uh, thing. I get it from uh, EV Parts. Okay. Uh, EVParts.com carries these. Um, they're about a hundred and something dollars through EV Parts. I think about four bucks or something from West Tac, <laughs> but what, whatever. It's a We're trying to support pick the industry. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the... Um, so uh, it has two little nuts, and uh, we want to aim that inside the adapter at the coupler, and we'll take a couple of these little ring magnets and JB weld them on the sides of the coupler, yep. uh, 180 would, out. I hope that yep. doesn't induce a whole lot of balance vibration, <laughs> and uh, run the wire out the whole of our adapter. Let's uh, talk about the adapter, Brian. What do you got? You were going to grind off some ears yesterday. 
How did that go? We did, and it's, it's a little hard to see, but maybe I can angle it like this to clear the uh, to clear the um, the mounting points for the lower transmission brackets on the Speedster Duh. We just ground this off until there was no clearance problem anymore. Mm -hmm. So we was, had a shiny uh, spot. We had to paint it. Mm -hmm. The thing was painted net gain red. It was, and that works good with a Warp Nine. We had this pretty blue motor. And uh, so I got a can of uh, multicolored textured uh, rust-oleum <laughs> something or other that I believe you, you're supposed to use on lawn furniture. Yeah, lawn furniture, I, the I EV got, got uh, some adapter lawn plates. furniture paint, and, <laughs> and we just covered up the red with some of that. And I think it looks great. It's got a, it looks like a piece of granite or granite top uh, thing. And we had uh, your friends at Cape uh, Precision Machine, right? The Here's the problem. This is a net uh, warp nine mounting plate for a VW transaxle. We got it at EV Source. It's from uh, EV Canada, as I mentioned. But the holes were in the wrong place. The wrong yeah. place. They fit fine on they the fit motor. Fine. But then our terminals were off on one side. So we rotated them. What is that? 20 degrees, 15 degrees? Probably about, yeah, 15 degrees from basically sitting in this plane over to like this. Right. And that positions our uh, electrical contacts, top dead center, plus or minus Plus five. or minus, yeah. Out of the way of my battery boxes uh, that we're gonna have on either side. And so that's, uh, that's pretty much good enough. This is a four inch hole. Actually, this is a 3.987 hole. It was just a and little, a four and inch, a four inch exactly, yeah. But believe it or not, this is pretty soft stuff and it fit on there very snugly we kind of have to bolt it and tighten her down. And so let's try that. But this time, Brain, I want you to mount my uh, my little unit here. We're gonna put it off of this bolt, so I guess we'll just do a couple of the other ones here. We'll let it draw in. We'll have to draw them all in and then take it back out again. Mm -hmm. So because that uh, boss is a very snug fit, on our uh, thing, Oops, I'll save that washer. We're going to uh, just kind of center it, put in some bolts, and then about like you do on a putting a car on a wheel, we're just going to very gradually go from one bolt to the next bolt. Um, hold it. You need the bracket on that one. Oh yeah. We'll draw this up. We got it. Back at the, uh, the adapter in place. I wonder what actual mechanically inclined people think when they watch us do this kind of stuff. Oh, they giggle. But that's it, okay. Are we as funny as we? Are they having as good time as we are? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Probably better. Yeah, yeah exactly. They're having a better time. Watching us. Anyway, we're going to take and put a socket on these one at a time and gradually draw this up to the face of the motor um, so that we're kind of crawling down that boss with our four inch hole and that'll, that'll position that motor pretty closely to center. Again, this is a sort of a store-bought adapter. We don't have to measure a whole lot. We had to put in some different holes grind off these uh, ears a little bit to fit the uh, well the mounting for the transmission that Beck did which is very strong but, but, but stuck non, a couple of bolts right yeah. there uh, and so you're gonna find this on just about everything you do this is an off-the-shelf VW transaxle adapter we have a VW transaxle we have a motor that matches it but you have to trim and fit a little bit because it's not exactly a Volkswagen, it's a Beck Speedster. And this isn't exactly a Warp 9, it's a uh, high performance golf cars. And I like to have the connections sort of top dead center so my cables don't get in the way of my battery boxes. And so just sort of cumulatively, you wind up with some little changes like that. How are we doing? Right. You're flush. Okay, let's go. The bottom looks a little out. Yep, there it goes. You're bringing it in. I think we're good. 
here. Then we had another little adventure. This kit came with uh, five sixteenths inch uh, standard bolts. Yes, and these were. And we replaced those um, with some grade eight hardware and uh, three eighths. Three eighths. Yeah, this this the, motor used a the, three eighths. The motor had a three eighths thread in the in the face of it instead of a five sixteenths. So it's not exactly a Hort nine drop in, but it's pretty close. It is, and I, and I like the uh, the larger bolts and the well, I like the, the grade, grade eight, eight bolts. The grade well, eight, the yeah. bolts come in different grades of hardness. Uh, grade eight is 